I want to share with you all what might possibly be a blended wing body style flying wing. Um, this is just a rough, uh, playful association of parts. Uh, yesterday was very happy to get from the Christian Bookstore Company, I believe in Massachusetts, my replacement from my X Racer lifting body. This is the one that had arrived damaged. Um, it doesn't show too well here, but the wing, one entire wing was broken off, and, and then the uh, the rest of the fuselage is badly damaged. I glued it together and was able to just use it as a mock-up for different design themes like this vertical stabilizer. But now that I have the intact one here, uh, and they sent it a whole month early, I'm very happy. What I'm thinking of doing is taking wings from the Eagle Flyer uh, that had also arrived broken from that same shipment from them, which they very quickly replaced. Can't speak well enough of them. By the way, their toll-free number is 1-800-CHRISTIAN. And I'm per I know I spent eight bucks. It's all they charged for this lifting body, which is very substantial. You can see here, it's it's not a little, little joke. It's a sizable piece of work here. And I'm pretty sure the Eagle Flyers, which is the same one that Dino and I converted into an RC glider, I believe they were also $8. But anyway, what I'm thinking of doing is if I can figure by looking at this piece with a, a sculptor's eye of figuring how to cut off the wing tip and then to fuse into it the wing tip of this Eagle Flyer wing. I'm not too sure if I would want to use the broad end, uh, the tip, but it's going to be fun playfully associating. Uh, let's see if I can do a, some idea what I'm thinking. Something along that line. Um, I love the blended wing designs uh, that Boeing has proposed. I think Lockheed has a couple too. Uh, the trick is going to be to find out how to take a wing surface like this that's essentially flat and blend it effectively into a structure that's very, very curved and almost biological in form. But now that I have a broken uh, X racer and an intact one, uh, and I now have, let's see, one, two, three of the Flying Eagles uh, to play with. It's it's going to be fun seeing just what's going to be workable, what's doable. I'm very much leaning towards um, there being a pretty steep angle of dihedral, uh, or dihedral, however you say it, on the wings, um, and probably with drooped wing tips uh, like on the original X Racer. Um, I'm not going to proceed rapidly. I want to give a lot of thought to this, and I'm still leaning towards uh, the motor being in back, uh, the same high torque. Uh, brushless electric motor that Dino and I used on that first one and I'm still also leaning towards possibly adding small canards to the front lip there uh, but I'm gonna have fun with this I'm gonna take a look at my drawings actually let's take a look at now I've got some good illustrations of blended wing by Boeing here on my office wall let's see if I can find them let's see There's one there, and let's scan around. I know I have others. Here's one up here, except I don't have much light in here. I thought I had one other blended wing body design that was very inspirational to me. Uh, there's that famous Boeing illustration that appeared in a lot of uh, magazines a couple years ago, but let's go back to this first board because I thought it had a better illustration. I guess that's probably the best one I have. Anyway, if you want to Google Boeing blended wing body, you'll see some of the design proposals and how they're going to play a role in me modifying, hopefully, this X racer into a blended wing body, uh, electrically powered. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out once I know how to work with uh, servos and all that, which I don't, uh, where to attach them, uh, where to uh, attach the servo for the rudder, and I'm very much leaning towards having the battery uh, embedded in a cavity in the body. I don't like the idea of it hanging off the side uh, with Velcro. That would be not only visually not very appealing, but it would add a lot of drag, and since this body is so thick, I can picture cutting a deep cavity where uh, the battery could be positioned in, uh, for, in different places, you know, to shift the body weight around. The, uh, and also I'm trying to see if I could possibly somehow have some of the servo wires embedded. I don't know if that's too likely of a goal for uh, such a newbie like me. But this is going to be a fun project, 
and I wanted to show you all the earliest stages of just simply playfully positioning uh, parts from kids foam gliders uh, mainly to try different visual uh, compositions uh, like here's one here they can kind of give me some idea of the possibilities um, once I've got some kind of a rough mock-up which is probably going to be in a few weeks because I've got a lot to do in the garden I'll go ahead and either post a picture or shoot a short clip showing how the blended wing body uh, program is going have a good one y'all bye bye